this weekend, championship round of the playoffs in the NFL. We got the, the Chiefs and the Ooh. Titans on one side. Uh, Derrick Henry, Henry going up against Patrick Mahomes. And then on the other side of that, we got the uh, the San Francisco 49ers and the Green Bay Packers. Both of these games are actually rematches uh, from the season. Chiefs beat the Titans during the season, mm -hmm. and uh, the Packers lost to the 49ers during the season. So this is kind of a redemption Sunday for a couple of cats. But uh, I know who I'm going with. You know, I'm, I'm going with, with Mahomes in the AFC, and I'm, th I'm taking the 49ers in the NFC. You know what, guys? I honestly did not expect a few of these teams to be in the championship right now. Yeah. I'm a little upset. You're not the only one. So don't, <laughs> yeah, don't. definitely not the only so one. So I don't want to be like a whole bandwagon and jump from team to team to team, but if I had to choose one, I think I would go for the 49ers too. Yeah. I just yeah. said that, that defense is so elite, yeah. and Aaron Rodgers, you know, all-time, He's one of the greatest to, to do it. But I don't know if right now he has the offensive weapons to, to beat the 49ers. And on top of that, it's not even, you know, just the, the 49ers defense. They got a great running game. Garoppolo does not turn over the football, uh, you know, much. And when you got a guy, guy like Kittle out there, anything is possible. Right. So I agree. Um, I like Kansas City a lot in this game. Mm -hmm. Tennessee beat them earlier this year. It was in Tennessee. Uh, Chiefs were a little banged up because obviously I think Mahomes was just coming back from the dislocated knee. Yeah. The defense was still kind of figuring it out. The Chiefs are a lot better now, but I, to me, I don't see how Tennessee can beat them running this high school offense that they've been running. Yeah. Uh, they haven't thrown for 100 yards in either one of their playoff games. Last week, they passed the ball one time in the second half. It's yeah. strictly been give the ball to Derrick Henry and, and just let him create let him something for us. But uh, that's going to burn time. And when you got right. Mahomes who can put up 51 points in three quarters, right. that ain't well, going to work. That's, that's going to be the strategy. That that's going to be the strategy. But I'm interested to see if in the first two uh, games of the playoffs, the Titans have been able to keep it close and then take the lead in the second half. Yeah. Right. They had the lead against the Ravens at halftime, but it was still a close game, so they were able to run the ball. Right. Same thing against the Patriots. Game they were up one at the half, they were able to run the ball. They can run the ball. If they're down early in this game, even if not a lot, I'm not saying they're getting blown out, but if they're down 10 3, 13 3. Yeah. And that time starts going. Can they stay patient with the running game? Mm -hmm. And I think Tannehill's gonna have to make plays. That's how they beat them earlier this season. Tannehill had to throw the ball. He had to make plays down the field. That's going to be the key. If Tannehill can throw the ball down the field and make some plays, he's going to have – to me, yeah. the magic number is going to be at least four throws. He's mm -hmm. going to have to make four big throws in this game yeah. to win the game so that they can stick with the running game. Because right. yeah. if they fall behind, there's no way they're going to be able to keep up with the Chiefs just handing the ball off. It's going to be them third and eights, right. third and nines. A lot of third and eights, third and nines. He's about to make those plays. Crowd going crazy. The mm -hmm. weather's probably going to be bad. Very cold. Right. Mm -hmm. He's going to have to – I think he's going to have to make at least four big throws in this game to keep them close enough so that they can steal it late. And you got to stop Mahomes, Kelsey, uh, Tariq Hill. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nicole Hartman, uh, Sammy, Sammy Watkins. Watkins. That's a lot. That's it's a lot, a lot of weapons. Those, yeah, those, it's that's, a lot of weapons. Yep. And so, uh, like I said, their defense is healthy now. Yeah. Um, the addition of Terrell Suggs has been big for them. Mm -hmm. Right? Who uh, wasn't there the last he time. He was not there when they played they earlier played. this year. Uh, Teron Matthews played really well. Their secondary is mm -hmm. starting to get healthy now. I think they're a much better team now. I think the Chiefs are peaking at the right time. And like I said, if they take the lead early, Titans playing catch up, I just don't like that scenario. For yeah. Them. Yeah. You know? I like the 49ers. I don't think too. they can. Right. I like the 49ers as well. I think that's the best case scenario. But there's something telling me that Aaron Rodgers is going to have a vintage Rodgers performance. I feel like might. it's going to be like a huge upset, just like how the Ravens lost, you know? Yeah. I, I just, yeah, I think the reason I keep thinking that, and I know this is, it's old and it's a little dated now. Because then the storyline becomes Aaron Rodgers gets revenge on the 49ers for passing on him in the draft. Listen. And that's always been a little underlying story there. The last couple times he went to San Fran in the playoffs, Kaepernick got the best of him. Yeah. And I just have a feeling this kind of feels like that last hurrah for a great quarterback. And then he goes on to lose in the Super Bowl to Possibly, Mahomes. yeah. But it, it just kind of feels like that last hurrah. They got the yeah. good running game. I'm not going to doubt it because I do feel like if, you know, someone could get past this defense – Aaron Rodgers is the guy. I mean, Devonta Adams, he's finally playing like he's supposed Devontae's to. Been amazing, Last week man. he had a he had a crazy game. So if they can kind of reciprocate that, then you know, anything's possible. But, you know, they also gotta play defense as well. Um, you know, they got the, the three headed monster at, at running back in San Francisco and then like uh, again, uh, Kittle. 
It's just been amazing this season. <laughs> the you got to get them to turn over the football. And so they don't turn right. over that, that much. That's a great point. I think the Niners' defense is amazing. We see Bosa. We criticized Bosa on draft night, but we said well, if I mean, he, but that was off the field. Not right. Stuff. But we said if he plays well, all will be forgiven. And he has. And he has played well. He's probably going to be defensive rookie of the year. Right. Oh yeah. Their defense has been amazing. Richard Sherman looks like the Richard Sherman of old. Mm -hmm. um, the other corner is a little suspect. But Richard Sherman, nonetheless, has, has been an all-pro this year. Yeah, he's he look, looking like he's back in the Legion of Boom. Right. <laughs> Playing like that. The one thing I will say that concerned me about the Viking game, and I, they won, it looked dominating, but I don't think it was as dominating as everybody thinks. Why they not? were Because there were two key points in that game that flipped that game when it was still close. Mm -hmm. When it was 17-10, Kirk Cousins throws that bad interception to Sherman deep in their own territory. Yeah. Right? The Niners run the ball like seven straight times, they score. They mm -hmm. go up 24-10. Then the Vikings get a stop. They're getting the ball again, and mm -hmm. Sheryls fumbles the ball inside his 10-yard line. And that those two plays put the game away because it went from being 17-10 yeah. with having the ball to now you're down 27-10 late in the fourth quarter, and right. now there's no shot. So the those turnovers. Those you, you got to make it right. to beat them. Correct. Th that's the key, the turnovers. If you limit them and make them go a, a full length of the field, don't yeah. let them get the short fields where they can just rely on the running game and George Kittle. Force them to go down the field. Then it could become a different yeah. game. I think you got you got you you have to put Garoppolo in a position where he has to pass. He has, the to, right. has to pass. Him. Not that he's passing just because they're in the free of right. the offense and they're just moving and grooving. You have to put him in a position where he has to pass the football because he is the weak link on that team. Well, yes. If, if I mean, in quarter to the team, right? Defense is elite. The tight end position is is elite. Emmanuel Sanders, you know, very good wide receiver. Yeah. So mm -hmm. realistically. With the area that you're going to be able to to say, all right, we can kind of get in here and shake this thing up, we can get these guys, is Jimmy Garoppolo. You're right. going to have to get to him and make him make some poor decisions out there on the field. If you can do that with Aaron Rodgers, you can uh, you can get that W. You can steal that win. Yeah, that's going to be the key. I, mean, I, I would love to see San Fran in Kansas City. Mm -hmm. I think that's the best case scenario right now. <clears throat> but something tells me that Aaron Rodgers has just one more game in him Listen, where I'm he reminds mad. us of why – if he does it, that's... I, I think he has that one more. So does that mean that you're going for I'm, the Packers? I'm taking Green Bay. Um, like I said, I think he has that one game that just reminds <laughs> you, like, this is why I'm a multiple MVP winner in this league. Right. Now, and what I'm, what I'm going to say in regards to that is it's going to have to to be the guys around him. Because we know Aaron Rodgers ain't the weak link on that team. Correct. Yeah. But the guys got to show up. You know, Jones he has to show up. You got to have Devontae Adams. It, it can't be one of those down games where you, in fantasy football, you pissed off because he got 30 yards this week. It can't, mm -hmm. it can't be that. He's got to have that game like he had last week. The running backs got to got to move the mm -hmm. ball. The other receivers, Lazard. Uh, and at Geronimo Allison. Yeah, they, they have to I make think plays Jimmy Graham is big. Jimmy Graham has to be big in this game. I mean, he's, he's playoff tested. He, he's, can, he's, he's, he can do it. Listen, Devontae, they're going to take him away. Whether it's Sherman, whether it's double coverage, they're not gonna. He's not gonna have eight catches for 140 like he did last week. Yeah, that's no, just it's not gonna be harder. Right, yeah. it's gonna against be much this, harder against this defense. Right, it's gonna be harder. So, what do you do to combat the pass rush? You got to get the ball out quick. Jimmy Graham's got to be ready. He's got to make plays over the middle of the field, mm -hmm. and that will help them kind of slow down the pass rush. Right. Yeah. Because as we saw last week, Kirk Cousins holding, holding, holding. Nobody's getting open, and now you're taking yeah. a beating. Mm -hmm. yeah. I got to get the no, ball out quick. Sacked. Right. So. Aaron Jones got to be ready for the ball quick. Jimmy Graham's got to be ready for the yeah, ball. Yeah, because right. they have an amazing front four. They may right. they may have the best front four in uh, football. Right. They do. So yeah, you're gonna have to get that ball out quick. And Jimmy Graham, you're gonna have to be the security point. Right. Even if even if you're only getting seven yards, but if you're getting seven yards on every reception that you make, you damn near at the first down. Listen, second and three is a lot better than second and fifteen because we just took a sack. Yeah. yeah sure. You yeah. got to get the ball out. So uh, that's what I'm going with. I I'm taking Green Bay uh, against Kansas City in the State Farm Super Bowl. So we all got different teams here, guys. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think we, we, we all kind of in, in agreement on, on the AFC side with uh, the Chiefs taking that one. True. Um, but, yeah, but on a, listen, and, I'm, and again, you know, Aaron Rodgers is good enough to upset the 49ers. You know, the, the further you go into the playoffs, the bigger that moment gets. Right. Yeah. You know, and everybody hasn't been in those moments before. As good as Garoppolo's been, you know, he, again, he doesn't turn off the ball much. 
He has not played in the yeah. AFC, in the NFC Championship game. Championship game, period. He hasn't played in it. Aaron Rodgers has been there, done that, bought the T-shirt, got his uh, insurance and all of that <laughs> and everything, you know? So he's uh, he, he's good to go. But, uh, you know, yeah. so anything is, is definitely possible. But either way, I think it's going to be a great weekend. We, we've been blessed to, to have a couple of really good playoff games uh, this postseason. No, this season was very exciting. Yeah. Like, a lot of upsets, a lot of good games, you mm -hmm. know. I can't wait for a Super Bowl, you know. Jennifer Lopez is performing. She is. She's, She's at the, at the half. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Kalo's at the half. I mean, I she she wiped up now. She with A Rod now, so I can't, you know. Yeah. But uh, but she looked good. You still looking good out here, Jayla. Jayla looks good, amazing thing. for her exactly. age. Exactly. You know, she I kills it. Every single performance that she has. Jenny from the block and never exactly. disappoints. Absolutely. And they uh they announced Demi Lovato's doing the national anthem. Yes, yes. she has a powerful voice. Super super talented. Can't wait for the Super Bowl to happen. Going to be posted up with some wings. Yeah. You know. <laughs> oh, listen. Definitely. Congrats to, to yes. Demi Lovato on you know bouncing back because. We spoke on her uh, last mm -hmm. year about some issues that she was having. Of course. So it's good to see her her bouncing back and uh, you know opening up. She's shining at the, at right Super Bowl. now. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a beautiful thing. I, everybody loves a redemption story, man. You know, you could fall down, but you get back up and push forward. You know what I'm saying? You can't ask for more than that. So Absolutely. big shout out to her. Exactly. Congrats on that. Congrats to to J Lo as well. This is Deontay the Bronze Bum Wilder, heavyweight champion of the world, and you're watching Real Fans Real Talk. Real talk, we as real as you thought.